Hello everyone, it's Deli here. Welcome back to the next part of Let's Build a Magical Library uh, with the brand new Realm of Magic pack. Well, I guess it's not really brand new now, but it's the latest pack for The Sims 4. So in the last part, if you haven't checked it out already, make sure to go back and watch how we built this beautiful building from scratch. It did take us a little while. I struggled a little bit. I was a bit unsure about it. But you know what? I'm really happy with how it's turning out. And I also love uh, this greenery on the back. I've done some extra landscaping. I've also gone ahead and done a little bit of a layout uh, before we get into the furnishing because I cannot film and chat to you guys whilst also concentrating on a layout. Layout's taken me a while to figure out. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead with that. So basically this is like the entrance and this is more of a brick and stone corridor area. We've got a couple of rooms here. One's got a fireplace, the other one's blank. And I thought these could be good rooms for cauldrons. And then we've got a couple of bathrooms here. If you walk through here, there's another entrance for just more library stuff or chest tables, whatever. Another bathroom over here, which we do need a little door going to because at the point now you can't get into it. <laughs> this is my favorite shaped room. I don't know, I just really like the shape of this. Oh my gosh, I'm noticing so many little mistakes. Lucky we're kind of reviewing what I've done so far. Can you imagine if I didn't have you guys? Whew. And then we have a nice curved staircase going up to the top level. This is the green room with a nice big fireplace inspired by the fireplaces in the Boston Library. Nice little area outside here. We've got another pink area with a couple of bathrooms. Then you go across here and I don't know, maybe we'll put more cauldrons here, whatever. We'll sort it all out. But pretty much what we do require in this build is that other than having like the usual waste disposal, uh, toilets, chest tables, we just need living chairs and bookshelves and desks. Oh, I actually completely forgot about desks. Well, let's for starters get a couple of waste options options because I always forget these. Maybe this bin, this is from City Living. Also just letting you guys know that, oops, touched my mic. I'm going to be going away to TwitchCon very shortly. So I'm actually pre-recording for that. So you guys have some videos while I'm away for the week. But if you are at TwitchCon, I will be there. So be sure to come say hello if you are. And I'm excited to see you guys. Maybe we should put also some park benches out here. You know what, let's do the park benches later. What I do wanna do is maybe get some desks in here for starters. Do we wanna go with mostly magical realm stuff or realm of magic? Or do we wanna go with other stuff? The only thing is I don't really like the glowing orb on these desks. I suppose it does make it a, lo a lot more magical though. We do wanna celebrate the release of this new pack. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use these desks desks. Why am I struggling so much to speak today? You know what? I'm just going to scatter a few desks around the place. Maybe if we put one here, one here. Is this the usual kind of thing that libraries have? Public libraries are so important. And when I was at university, I actually do a lot of study in public libraries because I needed to research books that I obviously didn't have. And I loved going to the Melbourne library. Uh, Melbourne's where I live. I loved going there and checking out some of the really cool books that I could reference. I love also looking at architecture at old libraries. Ooh, we could have these great big spinny chairs. Are these like too fancy for these desks? You know what? Let's go for it. Let's have fancy schmancy chairs. I mean, why not? We probably should have computers, even though it is the magical realm realm of magic. Why do I keep saying that the wrong way around? Oh, I love these lamps. These lamps are so cool, but these are kind of more the classic you know, typical study lamps. Usually they're in green. Oh, the Boston Library has the best green lamps. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with that library. <laughs> in the last part, I was like, anyone in Boston, you have to go to that library. It's the best thing ever. But I just really liked it. Okay. Oh, library items. Cool. There's a whole area where all the stuff we need is. <laughs> Perfect. You know what? I think it works. And then last of all, maybe we should just have some nice plants in here because... Plants make everything more beautiful, everything more relaxed. And you know what? You need to be relaxed whilst you study. You need to have good study vibes. So let's get some of these in here. Hmm. The question is which kind of plant? I actually really like this one. I know it's from Jungle Adventure, but I think it works. 
I think it looks really nice here. What a beautiful little library area. What a nice little nook to study at. Do you guys in America actually call couches love seats? Do you guys say, hey, mom, can I eat dinner on the love seat? <laughs> Do you guys actually say that? Because I don't think I've ever heard anyone call it a love seat in Australia. I don't think. I'm also going to put another one. Ooh, that's a nice one. Put it here. Does that come in a brown? Yeah, we'll, we'll do it in the brown. Okay, one room done. Now, the reason why I've made some of these rooms pink was just, you know, for a bit of fun, for a bit of color, splash of color, but also because my new favorite uh, sink is in this pack. Uh, we don't want the royal toilet. We do have a matching toilet though, which is perfect. So pop those toilets in. And I mean, public bathrooms, I feel like we don't really need to go crazy with decorations. I sense that, you know, less is more in this situation. Although I will match the toilet roll holder to the toilet because I am pedantic in that way. And then we also need to have a mirror so anyone can check themselves. I mean, this, this is about that pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've got the bathroom. We've got the first study room. Does this even have any lights in it? Yeah, there's a couple of lights there. Okay, and then we have the green room. So this is where we're going to have beautiful couch, a big, beautiful couch. Uh, do we have the right color swatch? I don't think we do for this green room. I don't, I mean, we could go with whites, but no, no, it's not working for me. I think we're better off going with one of, oh, we could go with this like creepy vampire couch. Black, oh, the brown, oh, it's got cheetah on it. I don't think the cheetah couch is quite what we're looking for. I think this is sick. I mean, we could go with the dusty green or this real matchy matchy green. I think we go like full on green. Now this rug could be a winner because I think there's like, a, yeah. See, at least this incorporates some cream onto it. So it's not like green, 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 green. It has a few different colors. There's also this, which breaks it up a little bit. It's just a really green room, okay? It's just whoever designed it is obsessed with green. And if you're ever gonna color coordinate it, why not color coordinate it in a magical library? Hear what I'm saying? Why not? Why not live a little? Although if we didn't want to go literally green everywhere, we could also maybe go for a beautiful, <gasps> like this. I see, I think this is a little bit more classy. We could even go a darker color again. I, I like the warmth of this though. And then at least we have the green there. We have the green in the chairs. And then we should probably do some kind of big square coffee table here. Probably not that one, that one doesn't really go. This one looks a little bit too, I'm trying to be modern industrial style. This one, this table I've never used. I don't like any of the swatches on that, sadly. This kind of looks library-esque. I was hoping to go for a big square one there. None of the big ones are really working for me. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Otherwise we could layer some of these, but it means we have to go with a really dark squat, squash. Okay, I just decided to use this and I've put a really cool typewriter on it because, you know, libraries have cool, really old stuff. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go with this one. Just your classic kind of standing lamps. And then over here, I feel like you'd have some kind of nice big old painting, something slightly historic that represents the library and what it stands for. We could have these. <laughs> that looks maybe more contemporary than I was thinking. Maybe these are the founders of the library or this this is how the library started. It started as a, a boat. <laughs> it started on a boat. No, the library was once just a little farm and then it was built into this amazing establishment. There you go, that's what it looked like to begin with. I know, crazy, isn't it? Have you guys ever sat back to back with someone and accidentally like felt them and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's happened to me one too many times. I feel like we need something on either side of the fireplace, but it's starting to look a little busy. A little too busy for a place that is a public space, not a home. You don't want to cross, oh, that's nice. Wait, no, this is not a house. This is a public space. I must remember that. Then instead of having couches back to back, I'm going to put a console table behind the couch just to fill up the space a little bit and to also have another ledge for persons to leave their books on. Oh, we could put a candelabra. 
Very nice, very old school. I mean, you know what? I like it. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, so we're gonna go with that. Just bear with me. What if we put a wall here, which means that this chair can kind of sit on the back here and then another shelf on the other side. See that? And if that looks weird, we can put pillars on either side. There is still a glitch with pillars, which is very annoying. I'm really hoping it doesn't reset when we log into this next. And you know what? We've used the wrong pillars, so we're gonna have to get a different one. Cause they don't look good with what we've done. Uh, I think is this the right color? Well, thankfully we may have to change the color anyway. It's darker, but I think it still works cause we've got like darker windows anyway. So it ties it in a little bit. Oh, sorry, little sconcey. Oh, sconce reminds me of scones. See, that's quite pretty. That works. You know what? I, yeah, I like how this is working out. Maybe I'll pop that there. We could put something else over there. It's okay. We can just have a brown ottoman. Perfect. So we could have an ottoman here and an ottoman here. Cool. I like how this is looking. What do you guys think? I think we're making a lot of, a lot of positive progress. Uh, and then we can even put an ottoman in the middle here, so you can sit down whilst searching for your books on that little guy. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So we've done, I was about to say we've done the entire top level, but no, we have not. I'm going to put a couple of outdoor seats just around the place. Cause actually we could probably put four across here. Wouldn't it be fun being a set designer? Imagine designing the set in Harry Potter. That would have just been the gig of a lifetime. <laughs> I used to actually go to school with a guy who's it, this was ages ago, it was like in primary school. His dad did the set or some of the building for a Scooby-Doo film. I mean, it was a while ago, but that was pretty cool. And I had the biggest crush on him as well. But I don't think he had a crush on me. Well, if he did, he never, he never really showed it, which is sad. But he was cute. And then I got a crush on his friend. Uh, Cause I went to high school with his friend. I was like, damn, if I can't have a crush on the guy from primary school, I'll just have a crush on his friend instead. Good times. This is kind of the illusion of an outdoor indoor area over here. So I kind of thought we would go with, see, this is bougie area over there. This is like, let's chill out and not be too fancy. And could we put a little sundial here? You know how there's that sundial sculpture somewhere around here? Here it is, little guy. Oh, that's perfect, beautiful. So you can go out here and check the sunlight. And does that look kind of de half decent? <laughs> does that kind of work? No, not really, maybe, I don't know. Is there a more? Okay, that that actually works a little a little nicely. I think it needed a little detailing on it. So what do we want to do here? I mean, we will need cauldrons. We do need chess tables. We could do either cauldrons or chess tables in these areas. Cauldrons suit the rounded rooms really well. So maybe we should, and also I want it to be really easy for you guys if you don't have Realm of Magic or if you don't want cauldrons, you can easily swap them out if you want it to be more of a realistic library. So maybe we could just, do one cauldron in here, one cauldron in here and keep it really simple. They seem so small. I thought they were bigger. Also, do we want a fireplace where there's a cauldron? Probably not. That's probably a little wacko did, isn't it? I don't know what wacko did means. So if that's offensive, please don't be angry at me. Uh, I just heard it somewhere. I really don't know what to do in these rooms. Stuff that kind of looks like it would be potion ingredients. Like these cabinets maybe. Oh, I love this bassinet so much. It's so beautiful. Oh, we could have these lights cause they're kind of different and whimsical. Oh, we can't size them down cause of the glowy orbs. Hmm, otherwise they're too big. So I guess not. We could have a whole heap of these herbs on the wall too. Maybe I'll get a couple of those out. But otherwise, is there anything else? Oh, the, this kind of fits in perfectly. What do you reckon? No? Too much? 
Maybe just the circular rug. Yeah, that, that works. At least it fills up the space a little bit more, which is, which is what we want. And we could have some pictures of weird magical stuff in here. Just weirdness. Maybe we can make one room the special cauldron room. What colors have we got? We got a yellow, we got a red. Oh, well green is a bit of a theme upstairs. Ooh, the blue's pretty. I think the green probably suits our, whoa, our build a little more. Ooh, yes. Do these bricks come in a green? A greeny color? No, there's a gray color. I also wanna save, cause I always get really worried that my game's gonna crash and then I'll be sad. <laughs> and you guys won't even know. I think this is going to plan. Maybe if we just keep to the blacks in this room, uh, neutrals. I don't really like the ones with the moons on them. They look too cartoony to me. And we could go with more blacks and grays in here. Yeah, let's, let's make this room a little darker. A little darker, a little more sinister. This is the evil cauldron room. Like this is where you go if you're an evil witch or wizard. Yeah, that's this is where you go to, to do all of your evil stuff. I actually really like this light from Cats and Dogs. Okay, so we've got a couple of things in there. Can put a couple of these over here as well in different swatch colors. And that I guess is where you can select some of your potion ingredients from. You'd be like, oh my gosh, I wanna use the green cauldron room. There's so much better stuff in there. And everyone will fight over the green one because the other cauldron room is really creepy and no one wants to use it except for the weird witch sims. A creepy magical mirror. Uh, there is one full length mirror that's really cool, but it's not really creepy. This is probably the creepiest mirror, isn't it? We should make it black and red, yeah. There's like some really cool bad stuff that happens when you merge cauldrons with mirrors. Like I don't, I, I don't actually know in the game, but I'm just saying that for storytelling purposes. What about a washing board? No. What about these? Oh, we should be hanging garlic up probably. <laughs> this is cool. This is actually really pretty. And I think it goes with the room because it's really green and environmentally friendly. And then we can put one above the door as well. So people know this is like the happy room. Herbology room. I think it is herbiology, herbiology. So we've just got to put a couple of plants around the place. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think this looks like a pretty cool room. I'm annoyed that there's two of these though. I can tell that some of you guys are annoyed by that too. I just have this sense. Okay. These are technically Christmas candles, but we're just gonna put a few of them around because it just gives that vibe. Okay, love that for us. And over here, this is a room where we could have a whole heap of curtains and like the full on blackout curtains on the walls in black. The black and gold's pretty cool actually. That's pretty badass. Ooh, there's like no daylight in here. And then with these, I guess we could just put Oh, we should put a skeleton in here. Isn't there a skeleton sculpture? Ooh, actually this guy can go in there. Hello, we'll call you Bob. Or actually we'll go with the gold because there's gold on the other things. Yes, which means we could actually put gold on this. This is like baby poo gold, which I think goes with this room quite nicely, if you don't mind me saying myself. Little plant for the room. Okay, cool. We got a plant, we got a couple of cauldron rooms. I think we're doing really, really well with this. I think, oh, and I just realized you can look down and see what people are working on in the room below. Oh no, this is a problem because the, damn it, I shouldn't have changed the brick. Hmm, it's a little bit of an issue. I mean, we can break it up with a proper wall there. Or we could just, maybe we should just put some columns in and just be like, bam, bam. And then it, it kind of fixed the problem of the wallpaper changing. Cause it, it just, you know, it works. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this right here, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you soon. Dog dog.